Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be continuing on from the last one where we set up these simple little pop-up messages that pop onto the screen. So you can see there when I used my gravity boost you get a piece of text that says gravity boost. If I press my speed boost you can see that comes up or if I use my slow motion you can see it comes up. However the issue with the system that we've got so far is that it doesn't come off the player's screen so what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be setting up a simple animation where it fades in and it fades out and it goes off of the player's screen um, and we're pretty much just going to be finishing off this little pop-up system. So it's quite easy to do so let's go ahead and start off with the gravity boost ability. Now we're going to be working with the widget blueprint again so just make sure you go ahead and double click and open that up. Because we're going to be working with that image and we're going to be animating that image inside of the widget blueprint that's where we're going to find it. So we're just going to give it a couple of seconds to load up and then when we've done that we've got to do a couple of things before we can start animating it. So first things first what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to scroll down and I'm going to go to the color and opacity options here inside of my appearance. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to set my default opacity, my default alpha, down to zero. The reason why I'm doing that is to stop it click clipping when we're making it fade in and out so by default it's not 100% opaque, you can't see it at all, instead it's just going to fade on. So we're going to set this opacity down to zero and now with this image selected what we're going to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner and press the little plus animation and we're simply going to call this fade in for now. Now, make sure you're selecting the image when you're doing this and then go to add and then just add the image into the animation and then from here what we need to do is we need to figure out how we're actually going to animate this. Now for me it's simply going to be color and opacity because I'm only changing the opacity of this, I'm not moving it. If you want to move it you can use the transform tool to do that but for now I'm just going to be doing a quick fade in and fade out. So I'm going to add a quick color and opacity track and with this little key, uh, these little keyframes here what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to full opacity at one second and then I'm going to set it down to zero opacity at two seconds so it's effectively creating a basic fade in and fade out effect. So press the little arrow here to actually expand this and then go down to opacity and at the zero point on your little slider here make sure it's set to zero. Move that along and move it over to one second. On that go to opacity and press one and that will automatically generate you a new keyframe with 100% uh, opacity at the little point. So what it's doing now is it's fading between zero opacity and full opacity within those first seconds. Now we also want this to fade out so at two seconds all I'm going to do is simply set my opacity to zero. So if I slide this back now press play you can see it fades in and then it fades out and that's exactly what we're after. Now we also need to tell this to play the animation as soon as this widget blueprint opens. So we gotta do that. So go over to your graph, we've done everything we need for the animation and we're gonna be using this event construct node to do just that. So what I'm gonna do is drag this out and simply type in play animation and I'm gonna add that in there. And the animation that we're working with is fade in. So I'm just gonna quickly drag that from the side, get a reference to it and then just hook it up into the in animation. Down here you've got a few other controls, you can make it start at a certain time, for now we've set it up exactly how we want it to so we're going to leave that at 0, playback speed 1, we just want the normal speed, play mode forwards, um, the only one you might want to use or you might you want to change is the number of loops to play, so if you want it to flash a couple of times, instead of animating it to flash a couple of times, you can just make it loop this. So if I set this to free now, what this is going to do is it's going to animate it and make it flash three times before it disappears and stops. So if I go ahead and compile this and then close it, let's take a look at how this works. So my gravity boost, if I remember, is the, uh, the second one. So if I press two, you can see we've got gravity boost. It flashes on a couple of times one more time and there we go that's three times and now it disappears and that's it. That's everything we need to animate it. Now if you wanted to you can make it drop down from the screen, do all kinds of crazy things, it's entirely up to you but for now I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do, having done that I'm now just going to move on to the rest so I'm going to open up my speed boost next and we're going to quickly set up the animation. So once again color and opacity, set the default opacity down to zero and then create an animation, call it fade in and then add a little color and opacity track. So let's do this, color and opacity, and expand this at one second, full, op full opacity once again, and then at two seconds, I'm gonna put this back down to zero, and this should just fade, just like the other one did. So I'm gonna press play, and that's exactly what we're after. So we've done the animation, done the graph, 
once again, play animation. Making sure you type it right as well. Play animation, number of loops to play is free, and then the animation itself is this one here. And now all we've got to do is go ahead and do the same thing now for the other ones. We've done gravity boost, we've done speed boost. The only other one we've got to do now is slow motion. So open that up, go to your graph, event construct, play animation. I've also got to make the animation first, jumping ahead of the game there. So select the slow motion thing, go down to opacity, set the default down to zero, add the animation, call it fade in. You'll see if you're doing the same thing over and over again, and it gets a lot quicker to do it. So add the image in, color and opacity track, and then from there, expand it. Opacity, zero, one second, it goes to one, and then at two seconds, it's going to go all the way down to zero, just like that. So let's go ahead and do that. So little flash, it's perfect. Play animation, fade in. Let's get a reference to this and hopefully when we've done all of this now everything should look nice in terms of our pop-up messages so if we press play press uh, get some fuel press free slow motion pops on once twice and three times now the slow motion one is actually going to be a little longer on the screen than the others because it's slowed down the game but the others will be the normal speed so let's go into this so get some more fuel press two we got our gravity boost that flashes, it's all working, and if we try the speed boost as well, you can see that's working just lovely. So we've got all of that. Anyway, that is pretty much everything for these little pop-up messages. You can experiment with this as much as like as you like. You can change the images yourself, you can animate it a little bit more, it's entirely up to you. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.